Hey, how's it going? Um, page two today. Uh, we're going to make um, like well, I'm not going to tell you what we're going to make actually, but I'm going to start. Well, I will tell you. I'm going to start with like a forest type background. So, looking over at the paints I have here, obviously you'd think I'd select green to start, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to start with this, which is called yellow ochre or okra. Or I don't know how that's pronounced still, but um, we're going to use this to start. So. Just gotta open the paint. It's already popped from yesterday, remember, so I don't need to do anything with that. And then we're gonna put some down here at the bottom. Not too much though, we don't need too much this time, unlike last time. And a little bit at the top. We don't need too much though, still, again. That'll be fine. So, what we're gonna do to start the base for this forest type scene is we're going to smudge into the bottom here, once again using the fingers um, paint brushes as I explained before are not necessary for anything ever you never ever 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 need to use paint brushes unless you know you're looking for fine detail or you know you're painting a house but even then I, I'd probably like the challenge of trying to do it you know um, with my hands, you know, painting a house with your hands. Now, that would be quite an achievement, I think. That would be, that'd be an, ex an extraordinary achievement, actually, if you were able to paint an entire house, you know, with your hands. Imagine painting the White House with your hands. Painting it green or something. The green house. No, that would be rubbish. That would just be... People would think it's made out of glass. Um, um, painting the White House pink or something. You know, the pink house. The pink house. That sounds quite good. The pink house. Sounds like a brothel, actually. Um, so, yeah, that'll be fine for the thing. And we need a bit up here as well. Just a little bit, not too much, though. Just need to smudge it in. Doesn't help the page moves as well. That sucks. Um, so, yeah, that's that for now. And I will be back later to start the rest of it. Okay, so I've now drawn the... Uh, the woodland sort of area, um, the forest, uh, so to speak. Um, and now I'm going to make this look a bit interesting because at the moment it's literally, you know, just a forest. So um, I'll need to go and get some stuff, and I'll be back. So the next stage of this, I've um, I've painted a, a Coca-Cola uh, vending machine. Uh, I did that entirely with my fingers. You have my absolute cast iron guarantee on that um, and my word as you all know means nothing hey what's up so I'm gonna um, put the coke machine in the middle of the forest and I've just found a, uh, a card like a birthday card type thing with a horse attached to it so I need to get the horse off the card and there's only one way I can think to do that and there's only one thing I could possibly use in order to cut it loose uh -huh, uh, some sort of saw um, so I'll put that on there and then I'm gonna no I clearly don't know how to work a saw <laughs> and so completes today's um, image um, it's a forest with a coke machine in the forest and a, uh, a horse jumping over the leaping over the vending machine and that's today's video on art beef um, I will see you maybe in a few days or maybe tomorrow or maybe maybe some other time but um, I will see you again goodbye for now